Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy and Cube, and in this video, we are going to look at Power BI data flows and how to connect to data sources that aren't listed in Get Data. Let's go. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, Power BI data flows. You may or may not be using it, but when you do use it and you go to Get Data, you may look at the data sources list that's there under get data and have a question of like, well, my data source isn't listed here. What's going on? I actually had this question when Patrick and I were out at the Power Platform World Tour in Atlanta. A gentleman by the name of Scott came up to me and asked me just that. In his case, he was asking for the Impala connector. And so what I mentioned to him was, all right, wait, Enough of all this talking, let's head over to my laptop and actually look at this. All right, I'm in the Power BI service and I'm on the data flows tab of my demo workspace. And if I go to create and come down to data flow, I will define and add a new entity. Right away, we see the data source list that's available here. So in the case of Scott, he was looking for Impala. And if I just search for Impala, nothing's there. So this is an interesting way that we can go about actually using additional connectors that aren't listed inside of this. So what do we do? It's not here. What we can do, go ahead and start up Power BI Desktop. All right, we will close the that item. Go to Get Data and just do whatever you would normally do with your data source. In this case, I'm gonna pull some data from Azure SQL Database. Even though this connector is inside of Power BI Data Flows, I'm just using this as an example for how you can go about doing this for connectors that aren't listed in Power BI Data Flows. So let's go ahead and connect. Let's go ahead and do some quick operations here. I'll just grab some tables and then we'll do transform data because we're gonna do some Power Query operations on this data. Connect to your data source, do all your transformations that you want to do inside of Power Query, inside of Power BI Desktop. So in this case, let me go to customer and we'll just rename some columns here. All right, and then I will go ahead and create a new column. Let's just do column by from example. All right, so I created a new column here and I did some renames. So I've got some transformations here. So now what I wanna do is for this particular query, I can right click, I can go to advanced editor or I could do advanced editor from the home ribbon and look at what's there. So let's pull that up. What I can do now is I can copy the M syntax. So this is the Power Query language. Copy the M syntax from Power BI Desktop. Then let's go back to data flows and we'll scroll down here to blank query. All right, and then I will paste that into the editor and then we'll hit next. Then we need to configure the credentials because now we're connecting to Azure SQL database. It doesn't know what my credentials are. So then I can go ahead and put in those, that item. So let me do that real quick. All right, and then bam, there's my data. And it's already got my full name column here which I did in that Power Query syntax. So it took all of that and just ran with it. And then I can change this to customer. And I've got my item connected to Azure SQL Database in this case. So going back to get data, again, you can, if you don't see your connector in the list in the GUI, try doing it inside of Power BI Desktop, copying the M script and bringing it to data flows using a blank query it may work for you. In the case of Scott at the Power Platform World Tour in Atlanta, I mentioned that for the, he was trying to connect to Impala. I said, look, try it. Uh, off the top of my head, I didn't know what the list was of data sources that were supported outside of the Get Data screen. And so it may or may not work, but give it a try. That's one way to, to go kick the tires on it. There is a documentation out there on how to connect to data sources from Power BI, in Power BI data flows. And there's a section here called connecting to additional data sources, which also walks through these steps. And if you go down to the bottom, it does have a list of connectors that you can utilize, copy and paste with, in addition to the connectors that are already there. However, some of these are already in the GUI, and so I don't know how up to date this list actually is. 
So definitely try the connector. If you can't figure it out, just give it a try. The worst it's gonna do is give you an error. The other thing you could do, like in the case of Impala, you could just use the ODBC driver and go that direction. So the ODBC or OLEDB providers are always a good generic route that you can go through and do those items with. It will require the gateway to be configured, but that's something you could also give a try to. And I'll have a link down in the description below to this article that you can go through and read if you feel so inclined. All right, I wanna pass this off to you. What do you guys think? Have you tried to use Power BI data flows but got stuck because your data source wasn't listed? Did this give you the direction you needed? Let me know down in the comments below. I wanna hear it. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.